Lila, this is ridiculous. No one's gonna buy this. Of course they will, Nick. You just have to sell it. Break a leg. Break eight of them. Hey, everybody! It's an escaped octopus! <laughs> <laughs> I bet it's Oscar. Oh, that's the fifth time this week. Get him! <laughs> Why are they buying this? No octopus really looks like this. Distraction's working. Time to ditch this tank. Yes! Freedom! Oh no! Tiny power sucks! In all my dolphin research, I never fully understood how fascinating their teeth are. Shawnee, less sciencing, more escaping. Science is how we escape. Turn on the sub's external speakers. <laughs> Shawnee, what are you even doing right now? In my fourth research paper on dolphins, I learned to understand and speak dolphinese. <laughs> Sea life is really surprising. Uh, where are we now? Oh no! We're in the touch tank! Hold tight! Phew! I think we made it. Richard will get here any second, and ruining the romantic reunion is a major no-no. But we have to get the oysters out of our hands before he... <sighs> Penelope? Richard? Is that my bag? I mean, probably this is your bag, but you'd better check it. Oh! <gasps> yes, my roosters! Oh, I just had the craziest day. I, I followed this bag. Well, well, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I've seen bags do some strange things in my day. Uh, are those uh, oysters? Oh, no. <sighs> True love sees past seafood. <sighs> Hopefully. Why, yes. I keep a few oysters with me at all times. You never know when you'll be in a snacky mood. For some room temp seafood. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. See, I knew it was meant to be. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I'm happy for Grandma, but we barely touched my itinerary. Actually, we did a bunch of stuff. Trolley, bike rides, even rode big city swan boats. We also flew high over cosmopolitan city streets. I guess we did do a lot. And Grandma found a special someone. Maybe we should give them some space for their love to bloom. Did you know that Cosmopolitan City used to be the oyster capital of the world? Of course. And they were the favorite food of Mayor Hustleding, who, who invented, invented Oysters Hustleding. Jinx! <laughs> <laughs> Bienvenue! Welcome! We need a room for the night? Penelope... Pen? I mean pen! You will need a pen to sign the ledger, madame. You look familiar. Have we met here before? I used to be a regular, when the place had regulars. We have uh, plenty of guests. Well, uh, uh two. And uh, I have the familiar face. Two eyes, two ears, one nose. Uh, call me uh, Maurice. <clears throat> and. Uh, Bingo! Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Oh, apologies. Uh, the rockin' bingo hall next door is quite loud and annoying <laughs> and drowning out any noise from our resident ghost. Ooh. Oh my, was that the ghosty I heard? Wait, I thought it wasn't haunted now. Lies! A vicious rumor! Still very, very haunted. Uh, <clears throat> enjoy the stay. 
Mr. Maurice may have an impeccable mustache, but he seems like a mess. Yeah, he's more ghost-obsessed than Nick. Well, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a man by his upper lip hair. Seems like the poor fella has a lot on his mind with business being so bad. Which floor, Grandma? Oh, we're not staying in this room. That's a decoy. At the Causeceptional, pocket girls stay their own way. Polly, the locket, please. Ooh. Great Grandma Priscilla built a secret getaway. Now, shrink us up. Tiny power! Cosmopolitan City, awesomest trip that ever awesomed. <laughs> <laughs> Look! Is that Melody? <laughs> nope, not a pop star. That's a guy with a lemur on his head. Which is still pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are. Just one? You could say we pack a... Uh, tiny. I'm... What she means is, thank you, Mr... Laurie. Mr. Laurie. I'm Polly Pocket, and that was the best taxi ride of the best trip of my life! Thanks! Uh, you're welcome, Miss Pocket. This way, girls! Hey, Lila, do you remember when we met that cool mouse at the hotel? Yes! And that wild boat race? Yes! And when we went to that whodunit mystery dinner show, but there was a real mystery and we had to use tiny power to track the criminal and make sure justice was served? I think you dreamed that one. Yeah. Cosmopolitan City is what dreams are made of. Got your boarding passes, girls? Paper ticket? Oh, so vintage. Digi natives here, right, Polly? <gasps> My phone! I must have left it in the taxi! It's okay, don't worry, Polly. You can print your boarding pass, then we'll call the taxi lost and found. I'm sure that nice Mr. Lorry will turn it in when he finds it. But what if he keeps it? Or someone else finds it first? Would you ever leave someone hanging like that? No, of course not. Exactly. So you can believe in the goodness of others. I believe it would be a travesty to lose all those photos. And what would someone think if they saw a pic of us shrunken down beside a real live mouse? Start right here! Port maneuver! Disco! <gasps> so cute! I think he was going for beastly and dangerous more than... Aww. The baby ducks do exactly what the ducks in front of them do. It's like follow the leader. Uh, hey! Augustus, dominating the race, being a bad sport, and splashing the cute duckies. Ugh. That's why I built this beauty. Ooh, fancy. Glad you like it, Lila, because you'll be piloting it. What? It'll look suspicious if the boat's driving itself. You have to pretend to pilot it with the remote so I can go pocket-sized and actually drive the boat. But isn't that against the rules? Nope. It's called the Anything Goes Tiny Boat Race. Anything goes! Now, if you need to talk to me during the race, use this earbud. It's linked directly to my genie watch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Augustus. Name's Polly Pocket, and this is the boat that's gonna finally beat you. Oh, really? Is it called the USS in your dreams? <laughs> Please, Paula. Paula? Oh, he'll know my name once my boat wins this race. Polly, winning isn't everything. Your great-grandmother is right. It's more than everything. Hey, I'm not a great-grandmother, but I am a great, comma, grandmother. Yeah, you are. And this snooty McSnooderson isn't worth my time which is why I'll be piloting the boat for Polly. That's right. I gotta go. Got tickets to a musical called, uh... <laughs> the Acorn King. Rumph! <laughs> Getting an employee to pilot her boat while she goes to the theater? <laughs> why didn't I think of that?